Okay, hope. Ngasa. Ngasa, ngasa. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In case you're wondering if pre boiling is necessary, I just called my grandma and she said yes, absolutely. And let me tell you why in English. So you see these beautiful pieces of galbi here. Your butcher should do a very fantastic job on cutting them, but if you touch it, it's still very coarse. So imagine all the bone fragment you might find in your stew if you didn't do this step. The step is to clean the bones. When it bleeds out, there's gunks. That's, you just don't want it to be in a presentation of your dish. So you're gonna clean that, and as well as the excess fat and these blood that might bleed out, they're not pretty. So this pre-boiling step, basically you're watching the meat and you don't wanna over boil it. What you wanna do is watch the gum come out. And as soon as they're out, you're good. You're gonna rinse it over cold water, kinda rub it, wash it a little bit, that's it. And then the next thing we do is a lot of people skip too, is to brown it a little bit. So after the stew is made, they, the, the, the fiber locks in and it's tightened. So your stew is still gonna be tender, but they don't fall apart. So let's do this.
it. I don't want to film anymore. You can't stop after you start. <laughs> Yo. This is not a mukbang. Every bite's gold though. <laughs> guys, you don't know how much I love you guys. I'm resisting not to eat this. The sun has set. I started cooking at 12, now it's 6. But this is how you know your Asian mama loves you, okay? Like every time you make a tender ass, like so yummy, like when the, the meat melts in your mouth, that's how long it takes them, okay? So don't take love and food for granted. Anyways, um, so galbi gym. Well, galbi is really just short rib and then stew, right? So obviously it doesn't need six hours. What I did is I set it to the lowest setting and just really let that, that broth, that stock, whatever you call it, just slowly, slowly melt down into a glaze and just, it's just packed with flavor. It smells so good right now. But of course, I actually have an Instapot. And with an Instapot, it shouldn't take more than two, three hours. But I just really wanted to show everyone that you can do it with the minimum required equipment. I don't want people to go spending hundreds of dollars buying equipment. Use what you have because those are your best tools. I wish you guys could smell this. They should make a candle out of this, but you know, you know what? You can smell it. You can smell it if you make it. And really, you just chop up all the ingredients and the rest is waiting, a waiting game. But the more patient you are, the more flavorful and tenderest the, the galbi will taste. Like, guys, let me just find a piece. I'm just gonna rip it apart. Oh, oh, it's gonna be like butter and it's gonna melt in my mouth. All right, I gotta log off. Mmm, one second. All right, I need to not look at this while I talk to you guys. Guys, let me know what you want me to make because this was also somebody's request, okay? And it's bringing me so much joy, so thank you. Anyways, I found a recipe on Spice Rack Love. Go to their Instagram. They have a very beautiful collective of recipes. Of course, I made adjustment to the recipes because like I said, recipes are all about inspiration. Look, read, and adjust to what makes you feel the most comfort. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what I can do to feed your fire, your soul, and your body. Um, if you recreated my food, tag me and let me know. Shout out to the people who remade my pancakes. Boom, boom, boom. Yo. If you recreated this, let me know, okay? I know you are lucky. Whoever you fed it to are lucky. Um, damn. Anyways, uh, very excited for you guys and your taste buds. Mwah, mwah, mwah.